14 year old has got to be the laziest thing ever created on this earth. My son at 14 years old, all he would do, all he would do is sleep on. You, you're not, you have no idea what's gonna happen. I know what you're thinking. No, not my Mac. My Mac will grow up, he will respect his parents. <laughs> from school, he'd take the, uh, the nap on a couch for two hours, three hours. Saturday, he'd never leave his room, he'd sleep all day. I finally said to him one day, I said, Chad, why are you so tired all the time? This isn't right. There's something wrong. I gotta hope it's not what I thought it was. I hope it's not what I'm thinking right now. He goes, what are you thinking, Mom? I go, are you doing the drugs? <laughs> Mom, no, I'm not, just a nap, Mom. Just a nap. You know how a nap wipes you out, Mom? I, no, I don't. I haven't had a nap since 1986. <laughs> and this was his vocabulary. What? I say, Chad, do me a favor, take the garbage out to the dumpster before you go to school. It would help me. <laughs> what? The garbage, it's tied up, it's right by the door, it just has to go in the dumpster. It would really help me. Thank you, Chad, I love you. <laughs> what? <laughs> the white bag, you see it right here? I'm touching it. That's it. I need you to pick this bag up, carry it outside, walk over to the dumpster, da 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 da, -da. put it in the dumpster, let go. <laughs> and go to school without the bag, go to school. That would help me, Chad, thank you, I love you. What? I said, all right, last time, pay attention, pay attention. The garbage. I tied up for you. By the door. <laughs> Dummy poop for brains. <laughs> what? And his room was disgusting. Who's got that filthy teenager room right now at the house? You got that teenager right? How old is your teenager? Fourteen. Fourteen. So you got more time with this. Do you clean the room? Sometimes. Oh, I never cleaned his room. I didn't go in there for five years. <laughs> There were things growing in that room by the time. Yeah. It was disgusting. Yeah, dirty clothes everywhere, filthy, dirty dishes, wrappers from Taco Bell and candy bars. A couple dead pets never found that ferret. <laughs> he finally moved out, went off to college. Unbelievable. Hey, how about those mothers in Hollywood that got in trouble for bribing those colleges? I am on those mother's side. Are you, what did they do wrong? This is me at the dean's office. Let me get this straight, dean. I give you a check and you take them for four years? <laughs> give me the pen, give me the pen. <laughs> I'd hock everything I have to pay for that. Are you kidding me? Oh, he finally went off to college. My best friend came to the house. She goes, oh my gosh, Kathleen, you're gonna miss him. It's your only baby. You're gonna have that empty nest syndrome. I said, oh, I'm having a party is what I'm gonna have. <laughs> but I wanted to see his apartment. I'm still the mom. I'm protective. I wanted to go see his apartment, make sure it was safe, clean. I drive all the way over there. I knock on the door. I open up the door. I look. It's immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> You know what he said to me? He goes, hey, 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 wipe your feet. <laughs> I said, the heck with you, and I peed on his toilet seat. <laughs> then, then I drank all his beer. <laughs> then I borrowed his car, and I brought it back with no gas. <laughs> Oh, is he mad? <laughs> He's like, mother, where did all my gas go? I said, what? 